Hey, this is uh, the Switch here opening a Witch's Moon subscription. So you can go to thewitchesmoon.com and I'll put a link in the video. Alright, so this is for November and let's see what we get because so far I've gotten a couple of these boxes ever since uh, August and they have been amazing. So right off the bat you'll usually get one Book of Shadows page, but today we got two. Uh, let's see, this is for the Oak Moon. It's the December Oak Moon. And they make these pages themselves. They have somebody that hand draws them and they make them themselves. The Witch's Alphabet. It's really pretty. So we have that. Um, let's see what else we got. So they, they handpick a card for each box, and so far every card I've gotten is very, very specific to exactly what I need at that time of the month. Uh, this one is Control Your Emotions, and it's from the Wisdom of Tao Volume 2 Oracle deck. Uh, let's see. No matter what greatness you have achieved and how much you are loved, rage can reverse all this in the blink of an eye. Don't react. Any actions or words may strand you into a deeper hole. Remain calm, and the real strategy will reveal itself when anger has subsided. I have really needed this this month. Oh my goodness. So this is the parchment that they send you. It lists everything that's in the box. And they give you one free extra piece for your Book of Shadows. I like to keep it out and read it as I'm going along so I know what like, herbs are in each item. Um, oh, see, I've gotten one of these before, but one, two, three, four, there's five of them this time. So these are the little things that they have also drawn and made for themselves. This one is Protection. Prosperity. Guessing this one's psychic. Peace. And enchantment. I love these cards. They make really, really good uh, for your altar and for meditating. Let's see what else we got in here. Eee, it's all black. Let's see, I got some sweet wood, an herb, oh a tea, yes. This is called gray black tea, and I love gray tea. Let me see what it says on here about the gray tea. Gray black tea combines dark leaves of an orange Pico with the indigo petals of the cornflower. It's supposed to help you to provide extra clarity. Uh, it provides many health benefits, as in the ability to keep in tune with our goals through any physical and mental obstacles. And it even gives you like a little, you know, meditation to do with it or a way to use it. And it comes with muslin bags for you to steep your tea. Uh, let's see, we got the bath salt. Oh, I love the image on this one. I don't even know if you can really see it. It just says the witch's moon. So this bath salt, I'm going to smell it first. Holy cow. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of autumn, definitely. I cannot put my finger on exactly what it smells like, but it's very spicy. Inner Flame Sacred Salt. As we work through day-to-day -day challenges, we forget to nurture our creative soul. This very necessary practice brings new beginnings into our existence, rejuvenating our sense of purpose 
and direction. We have created the sacred salt to ignite the inner flame of creation that resides beneath your concerns and anxieties. I really need this. Relax and let go of preconceived thoughts and expectations. Allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions. As you clear your mind and visualize a golden aura, imagine yourself charging your internal magnet and repositioning your compass. Visualize yourself becoming stronger and stronger until you have reached the strength you have set out to obtain. We have enchanted the sacred salt with star anise, cinnamon, nutmeg oils, and chamomile herb, sp spearmint leaf, uh, we have also included a special mixture of our Golden Aura Magical Oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. It smells amazing. I'll definitely be using this. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see. The oil. I love how they make all their own labels for these. The labels are gorgeous. Everything always has that, like... New Orleans feel almost like the old apothecary feel and look. I cannot read that. It is I can't even find it. Oh okay. I pronounce things totally wrong, so forgive me. Uh, <laughs> it's the Thoth ma Magical Oil. It's an Egyptian oil. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. I wish I... Oh, God, I wish you could smell this. <laughs> it's so amazing. Um, it's very masculine smelling. Let's see. They put... Tangerine, almond, cinnamon, cinnamon bark, coriander, and a Lumerian quartz, as well as their uh, special mixture of their creativity magical oil from their personal cabinet. Um, I do not, I definitely smell like the almond and the cinnamon. Don't smell the tangerine. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I do. It smells good. Let's put this back. Get it to sit right, felt like it was falling off my lap. And uh, my friend and I, we've been opening these boxes together for a while now. And I can tell you right now, the subscription price is worth it. Um, we try to sit here and calculate what the cost of all of this would be. And most of the time you're looking at like each box is worth $90 to $130. And you're only paying $54 a month for the subscription. I've got another herb. It looks like a lavender mixed with something else. So it's got to be, I think it's something for the clearing. Yeah, the Clearing Sacred Smoke. It's a smoke blend that you put in your charcoal and your cauldron. And it's just lavender and sage. And it's just, you know, for the normal stuff, you know, clearing energy and and clearing your space. I want to smell it. It's my favorite smell. Sage. All right. You're usually... Usually always guaranteed a Book of Shadows page, personal and made by them, so it's a one of a kind. Only a subscriber will have that page. Um, you always get a candle and probably some herbs. Uh, I want to say every box I've gotten an oil and a bath salt. Other than some boxes that didn't have tea, which is okay, but tea is my favorite. The tea is my favorite one. So it's just, usually there's like a little, sometimes they put spells or they write things on this parchment as well. Sometimes you'll have herbs rubbed, oils and herbs and glitter and stuff rubbed into your candle. This looks just like a plain um, clearing candle. And let's see what they wrote about it.
Yeah, it's just an undressed spell candle with blank parchment, so it's meant for you. So this box so far, I'm noticing, has a theme for creativity. And, um... <clears throat> World of Clean and Clear Intentions. It shows a white wax to provide you the opportunity to make it your own creation. So you can roll it into the herbs that you want. You know, you can rub the oils you want on it. You can write the spell that you want. So this box is giving you an opportunity to be your own and be creative. I love it. I can't get it wrapped back up. This is great. I'm okay with that. Haven't I've been having trouble with my creative spark the past couple years. Um, joining this subscription has been giving me ideas, and I've gotten back into painting. I've gotten back into doing a couple other things as well, and it's really helped me move out of uh, my block. Um, okay, this is another thing that you will find in every box. Um, it is baggy and in the baggie will be the stone for that month and ooh, I've gotten some really good stones in the past um, some smoky quartz amethyst and stuff like that this one is I think it was moonstone where is it rough moonstone it holds energy Uh, as we set out on our journey to uncover the hidden truths that reside in the depths of our souls, we hold close to us the moonstone. This magical stone allows us to connect to the insight that results from self-discovery. As we meditate with this stone and use it in our practice, we gain patience and diligence. These attributes are needed when taking the necessary time to resonate with your creations. Your affirmation should be, I work towards deeply understanding self through patience, practice, and my connection to the feminine. Pretty cool. It's nice to get a different stone other than, you know, what I'm, I've usually been getting, which is quartz and amethyst. And it's a rough moonstone. I like it. I got two of them in my bag. Um, you can also count on an incense that they have made. So in every box, there's usually a little bundle of incense. Ooh, that is strong. Okay. Stillness incense. This wonderfully aromatic incense was included in this collection to bring a sense of calm and collectedness to your work. As the incense smoke waves through your surroundings, surrender to your inner self. Unwanted thoughts and energies are not welcome in your sacred space. Allow the scent of the sacred Palo Santo wood to bring stillness to all hectic emotions. I love it. Yeah. And it says emotion and scribe. I think that is the theme. So there's the incense. And what I didn't describe is what the sweet wood would be for. Sweet wood bark. Or cinnamon bark. Okay, cinnamon bark. It's for protection and prosperity spells. It even gives you, like, the ginger planet element, deities, magical properties, which are success, healing, psychic awareness, and protection. So sweet wood is just cinnamon bark. It's good. It's not very strong in the smell, but it's also a pretty hearty er wooden herb. So that would probably burn really well or work well with an incense and an oil. Okay, and then... Like, there was one box I got. It got a statue. Um, I've gotten uh, oracle decks and other things. Like, they always have this one big special piece that's in the box. And I can't open it. There it goes. Let's see what it is. This is always my favorite part. Oh, my goodness. There was this uh, prayer bead necklace. I think that was the August box. I might be wrong. It was gorgeous. I think that was the goddess, one of the goddess boxes that we got. Open. I don't know if it's a book or a 
Which is Moon. Victorian Trading Company. Spell inks designed exclusively for the Witch's Moon. Oh, it's so tight. I can't open it. Spell inks. Oh, my God. Okay. So, it literally is an ink set. Oh, come on, come out. You got Protection Ink, Enchantment Ink, Peace Ink, Prosperity Ink, Psychic Ink. And then it also has its own... Oh, I can't get it out. I'm afraid to break it because it's glass. Looks like blown, a blown glass pen. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. And you get your own calligraphy pen. Look at how gorgeous that is. Does this part come off? No, I don't think so. Yep. So it's like this blown glass. I wonder if everyone got a different color pen. Oh, it's beautiful. And then each jar is like a different color. Like this one is a protection ink and it's black. The enchantment ink is brown, or no, actually it's a red, yeah, it's a red, you can't see it, blue, green, and purple, oh my god, this is amazing, I can't even imagine, I've never seen something like this in a store, not in a, you know, a pagan gift shop, so like that's, the other thing that I love about this subscription box is like, you know, they tend to give you very personalized items, things made specifically for their cause, for what they're doing, and the gifts are phenomenal. Oh my god, I love it. I have to smell everything. So, yeah, that's it. That is November's Witch's Moon box. And... Yep, that was everything in it. And then, you know, they give you very detailed, you know, descriptions and how to use each item. And I like to take my big, uh, I have this huge wooden book of shadows, which I might show sometime. And I like to put these in there, and I'll put the cards that I get and the book of shadow pages that I get. And I'll write little notes based on what I use from the box. Um, but if you haven't gotten the Witch's Moon subscription, you should. Bye.